Hi there, so in this session we're going to look at keeping feedback constructive. First of all, you have to ask, what's the aim of the feedback? Then you have to think about what the outcome you want from giving the feedback. Now the answer to that must be to improve performance next time around. In high pressure situations, when under pressure, there's a tendency to highlight errors, to pick up on mistakes. Let me give you an example. Playing at the, the Hong Kong Sevens, there's 40,000 screaming fans in the crowd, there's millions watching on TV. Two points down, the last play of the game, on the attack, not far from the opposition try line, my teammate inside has the ball, there's no one in front of me. All I need to do is catch the ball, take a couple of steps, put the ball down, score the try, we win the game. But no, I drop the ball. The opportunity is gone. No one is more gutted than I am. I've dreamt about this moment since I was a kid. We've been out on the training field flogging ourselves for hours, for days, for months, all for that moment and I've blown it. I don't need my coach or my fellow players to pick up on the mistake, to give me a hard time. I know the error I've made. It must be the same in a professional environment where people go to university, they, they complete their traineeship, their professional exams, all to do the best they can in their job. And when they make a mistake, they don't want that error highlighted, emphasised, replayed to them. It's easy to give that immediate feedback where you're angry, you're frustrated, you pick up on the error. But instead, you want to be part of the solution. You want to look at what the small things that you can do to improve the performance next time. Break down the error, look at how you can help to develop, help to, to make positive changes. If I'm told, don't drop the ball, it's not gonna help me not drop the ball. If someone looks at the, 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 the finer technical points, breaks that down and gives me little steps to work on, I'll be confident that if I'm in that same situation next time around, I will catch that pass, I will score that try, we will win that game. The other thing that positive feedback helps is avoid that blame culture, where you start emphasising errors, picking up on mistakes, and everyone in the team does that. You want to avoid that at all costs. You want to keep things positive, keep things moving forward. So the key takeaways from this session, it's about coaching and guiding through feedback. You want to use feedback to relieve pressure rather than build pressure. To be truly high performing team, you want to develop a culture where people strive to perform rather than being scared to fail.